Finland is a part of NATO video inside Finland's war preparation on NATO's new front line with Russia. This is nine months ago, but uh, we can bring it back to light in Channel 4 now, and uh, 2024. <coughs> in March, obviously, this was, uh, like, like I say, uh, nine months ago. Let's go back. Finland's Karelia Brigade spotted... Finland's Karelia Brigade spots an enemy near the Russian border. But it's not who you might expect. Hold on. Trust is killing me today. They're training with around 400 US soldiers. <coughs> Finland than US, eh? For the first time, on land once yep. fought over with Russia in the Second World War, NATO's founder is teaming up with its newest member. What does Finland bring to, to NATO? Finland brings an incredibly capable military, uh, an incredibly capable military organization uh, with a lot of experience in this terrain. So there you have two missile shots on your back and uh, let's go. one attached. <laughs> Finland joined NATO in April, knowing that it adds extra security. These drills are about Finnish and American troops learning to work together to defend this land from a foreign adversary just an hour from the Russian border. In Europe, what Russia has been doing in Ukraine has changed the mindset within NATO and, and all, of, all of Europe. We take Article 5 very seriously. Uh, we came here to reassure allies and bolster the defense on the eastern flank. Uh, so whatever uh, Russia chooses to do in the future um, is, is their choice. So it's about showing that we have a capability, so there's no invasion. I think that is the number one thing. It's that to deter uh, any kind of aggression, any kind of negative influencing that might occur. Did you have Shinty Abrams? I'm a tough gunner. Tough gunner? Oh. Yes. Ooh, nice. These exercises come ahead of next month's NATO summit where the increased security of its eastern members will be front and centre, but also its continued support for Ukraine. Finland's decision to join NATO was a delicate balancing act, not prodding the Russian bear, but ensuring its future security. And the speed with which it joined the alliance poses a new question, because Ukraine has also submitted its application to NATO. And so will countries like Finland and others with borders with Russia decide that Kyiv needs membership sooner rather than later, or is that a dangerous step? too far. I put Ukraine's future NATO membership to Finland's foreign minister. Do you not think it would be letting down Ukraine and not say, here's a timetable for when you can join NATO, especially given there's a war going on? Well, of course it can feel like that, but when we looked at uh, all the efforts uh, of NATO countries and EU countries to support Ukraine, I, I think we have done our utmost. Finland's always been very careful about this delicate balance between sort of defence, not antagonising Russia. Is that going to be more difficult now you are a member of NATO? Well, I, I think we have to recognise that Russia is, of course, a huge country with a huge potential, including the nuclear threat. And, and we follow the nuclear issue, we follow the positioning of uh, nuclear arms now to Belarus. We are extremely concerned about that. I think it's very important that we react also to these imperialistic tendencies that we have seen from Russia. And joining NATO is not the only reaction from Finland to the war. Because this once non-aligned nation has completely changed its approach to its neighbour. For decades, this was the barrier between <coughs> Finland and <coughs> Russia. But Helsinki is concerned that <coughs> Moscow will do what it and <coughs> Belarus have previously done <coughs> at other... I know what was wrong with my chest today. The so-called weaponization yep. of immigration. It was all chest. Sending hundreds of migrants to the frontier to put pressure on the EU. This side is Finnish side, and uh, there's the Russian side. You can see the border hole. So now <coughs> Finland, yeah, got a bit of a has gone from it's quite chicken cold, wire yeah. to barbed wire, with a 10-foot-high fence being built, but only along 15% of its 800-mile border. Usually it's, you know, Russia or Donald Trump, someone building a wall. Did you ever think it would be Finland building the wall? There is a <laughs> different kind of situation in our... Our security environment nowadays. So Finland would prefer to not build this, but you've been forced to build it. Nobody forced to build a fence, but we are, of course, uh, making the decisions in in our view. Do you ever feel sad about the change in 
how Finland has to be on the stage now, the fact that you have to build a fence with Russia, the fact that you have to join NATO, the fact that you can't have dialogue with Moscow anymore. They attack Ukraine against all UN rules, against the principles of the uh, European security, OEC and so forth, and we had to react to that. Is that it in terms of any dialogue which Helsinki has with Moscow? Yes, that's currently it's done. Yes. How do you see the war ending? My guess actually is that the war ends not on the front line, but in the capitals. That some people in Moscow one day realized that this was a big, big mistake what they were doing. Finland was once careful to tread a fine line with Moscow, but the dialogue and the trust has gone, and so barriers and NATO's defense are now necessary, as the Eastern Front grows ever more tense. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. Give it a like, give it a comment, share it your friends, and uh, thank you for joining me, guys, girls, boys, and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see you in the next video. Take it easy, peace.